After over two months of siege, the Azovstal steel plant has been completely destroyed. Outside, mines are needed to be cleared from the ground. This footage from Russian state TV shows pro-Russian separatist soldiers entering the factory's basements, accompanied by journalists. They served as shelters for some 2,439 Ukrainian troops who were trapped inside the plant for over 40 days. They scattered cartridges along the roots of the tunnels in case they got lost. On the ground, a trail of bullets to help soldiers find their way around the steel plant's basement. The factory covers 11 square kilometers, or the entirety of Paris's 15th district, one of the capital's biggest neighborhoods. The pro-Russian soldiers recovered weapons and ammunition abandoned by the Ukrainians. There was not much else that could be saved. They destroyed all of their equipment, phones, laptops, tablets, so that no information would fall into our hands. The Russian military said it had inspected about 30% of the steelworks ground and underground infrastructure and claimed that the basements go up to seven floors subsurface, where Ukrainian troops were able to find a moment of respite from constant shelling. The shells could only penetrate through to the second floor, so the soldiers could be quite comfortable on this floor. They had enough food and water to be able to fight on for another two years. Ukrainian soldiers surrendered to the Russian army on the orders of their superiors. Considered prisoners of war by Russia, officials hope they can be released as part of an exchange for Russian detainees.